hey youtube welcome back to my channel i hope you guys missed me i've been away for a little while but i am back i had to let things bubble and develop and get juicy i came across this article which actually covered a topic on loose women which is a uk daytime telly chat show for women which is very similar to what you guys have on the view in america with whoopi goldberg on the panel and the other ladies and jane moore actually called harry out and we know that harry gave that awful speech regarding our past behaviors and the difficulties that we face right now with the whole Black Lives Matter movement and everything else that is going on in the world. Racial tensions are at an all time high. I actually saw something online which was, it was alarming to be honest, but I guess it's the sign of the times. Not gonna get into that, but it all links into what is bubbling, especially in the US where Meghan and Harry allegedly thought would be safer than being in the UK with baby Archie. Jane Moore basically called Harry out on the way in which he said we all need to look into our past at all of our wrongdoings and what we have done to contribute to the way the world has ended up today and i think it reeks hypocrisy as she said in saying that harry didn't directly apologize for his past transgressions and his past mistakes which we know he has many of especially relating to race harry unfortunately was pictured and recorded on i think it was about two or three separate occasions which they actually covered in this article making racial slurs racial references and then he actually went to a halloween party at one point dressed up as a ruthless dictator no need to say his name but we know what he was wearing very hypocritical and he's gone back into his preachy vibe he was standing outside he had a suit on and he was just moving his head from side to side <laughs> just looking like the cat that's got the cream essentially telling us what to do again on his high horse despite the fact that he's not looking at his own past mistakes. He sh I've never obviously made racial slurs in the past. I am essentially a black minority in the UK. So I wouldn't be sharing in the kind of things that Harry has done. And Jane Moore additionally expressed, she used to actually photograph his mum, Diana. She has never partaken in that behavior. So what does she have to be responsible for? Which is a fair point. Anyway, I'm going to get into some of the things that was mentioned in the article. So here we go. Prince Harry should have apologized for his past behavior during Princess Diana award speech. After 2006 footage showed him using racial slurs to address army colleagues Loose women Jane Moore says. Jane Moore has called of Prince Harry to acknowledge his own past shortcomings when it comes to discussion on racism. And that is true. I think Meghan and Harry have a very difficult time looking in the mirror and I know I haven't been around and it's always the way 101 things have happened. We have had Meghan in court preaching about the way in which she didn't feel protected trying to undercut the royal family trying to undercut their generosity now i'm not sure if flying into new york on a private plane staying at the mark hotel one of the most expensive highbrow hotels for a baby shower alone after getting off of a private plane is is signaling that she hasn't had any protection because i would feel very protected I was actually reading an old article the other day. This was way before she actually even walked down the aisle. Was also flown in on a private plane to Skippy's wedding in Jamaica to attend the wedding with Harry. It was mentioned in the article that she actually borrowed the plane of a the private plane of a friend. I don't think 
judging from the townhouse that she was living in in Toronto, it was hardly a mansion. I do not think that that was covered by a friend. This is just my personal opinion. She didn't have friends on that level. That was definitely covered by the royal family. That was covered by Harry. So Meghan Markle has been dipping her hand personally from my personal point of view. Unless there's more clarification brought to the fore has been dipping her hands into the royal purse for a very long time, way before she even walked down the aisle. For her to come out and say that she felt unprotected, girl, please, please, girl, bye. But anyway, we're gonna see how this court case unfolds. And until that point, I guess I will wait to see more details, but I will actually cover the court case and my personal thoughts and feelings on it, because I haven't done that as yet. I'm going to carry on with this article. Discussing the Duke of Sussex's speech via video link for yesterday's Princess Diana Awards, where he apologised for endemic institutional racism, the Loose Women panellist said she would have liked to see him admitting to his own mistakes. She referred specifically to a 2006 video which surfaced three years later showing the prince using a geography form to describe a Pakistani soldier, which saw... St. James Palace apologised and the royal then 25 sent to a diversity course. Any mistake that somebody's made in the past can be forgiven but for me I would like him to have said I myself have made mistakes. Jane Moore was reacting to Judy Love who said and she's another panellist who is black who said that being married to a biracial woman could have pushed Harry to reflect on his own mistakes. I think that Harry probably done that prior to marrying Meghan and hence he wanted to marry someone like Meghan, not just for the shock factor, but to wash, wipe his slate clean, possibly. Carries on to say, for me, that's what was missing, Jane told the panel. He himself has a history. A video was leaked out where he was saying some very inappropriate non-PC things and St. James Palace had to issue an apology and he got sent onto some sort of diversity course. She said she would have rather the Duke of Sussex had apologised for his own actions rather than lumping everybody's in the same thing. Going on apologizing for the whole of our generation and society yeah harry we don't need you to speak on our behalf i think it would be a pretty sad day if you was our representative you can't even represent yourself effectively let alone the rest of uk <laughs> I think I don't think I need Prince Harry to apologise for me because I've not done the things that he's done in his past, she said. I thought it would have been more powerful if he had actually said, look, I've made mistakes. And that is true. It would have been a lot more powerful if he would have spoken for himself and not everyone else. But Harry is the king of hypocrisy isn't he the 2006 video was recorded when harry was 21 and training at sandhurst military academy it resurfaced in 2009 after the prince had already been embroiled in controversy for wearing a hmm, nazi officer costume to a halloween party in 2005 so we can see that between <laughs> oh lord so we can see that Harry had went on this streak of spewing out racial slurs, poison, and really indulging in um, non-PC racial activities. I think that the Harry in 2005, and this probably carried on, I don't think that every single thing that he done was recorded, seen. But I think he went through a period of racial prejudice, racial bias, definitely. That definitely does come across. I'm gonna leave it there, guys. I think that it's right what Jane Moore said. I think that Diana would be rolling in her grave to have known that her son done that and hasn't yet really formally apologized for it. St. James's Palace actually had to apologize on his behalf and he thinks that 
even though he's married to someone who is of colour, he has absolved himself, well, to a biracial woman, he's absolved himself of having to apologise and the world doesn't work like that, especially if you're going to be calling us out and speaking on our behalf and telling us that we have to acknowledge our past transgressions. It just doesn't cut that way, Harry. So do better, be better, act better. I'll be back with another video, guys. Bye.